Hi everybody, this is Random Fix, and this morning I launched nine videos on how to get better SEO optimization for your YouTube channel. And if you're not a content creator or a YouTuber, however, you have a real passion or you're really good at something, go ahead and stay tuned for the next two minutes of the video because I'm going to share with you guys my personal story and maybe it helps you guys go ahead and ignite your fire and your YouTube careers. So four years ago, I was driving for Uber and Lyft and I didn't like the experience. And as I was driving, I thought to myself, there's gotta be something better for me as I knew that I'd really love to help people and I like to share my ideas with people. So I went ahead and got over my fears of being judged one day, got my cell phone out and recorded a silly video. It was really bad quality. I'll leave a link up here. And then I continued to record. I recorded another 200 videos, saw a little improvement. And here we are, I have over 800 videos and I got a chance to help out a lot of people with their cars, their credit, and all kinds of random things you can imagine. If you guys have that passion for something, I highly suggest that you take your phone out and hit the record button, because it really does pay off down the line. And you'll see the fruit of your labor in due time. And there's a lot of benefit to this. And because of what YouTube allows me to do, I'm gonna be taking a three month vacation to Europe. And if I end up liking the experience, I might end up staying there as well. So this is the nice thing about YouTube that you get to help people out. You get to go ahead and share your passion and you can have a really cool lifestyle. So I'll leave you guys links in the video description box down below that can save you guys money on vidIQ or TubeBuddy. You can also just try the free versions. If you launch both of the free versions together, you actually get a lot of cool tools on Chrome. And also at the end of the video, you guys will see a whole playlist let me jump over to how to make a thumbnail on Canva really quick. And if you guys got any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. If you got a cool YouTube channel that I should check out, go ahead and leave it in the comment box. Thank you again so much guys. And I wish you guys all the best. Now let's make a thumbnail. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel here. And today we're gonna to be talking about Canva and how Canva can help you make better thumbnails for your YouTube videos, Amazon products, or just maybe a flyer for your neighborhood barbecue. Canva is gonna be the one-stop solution. I really like Canva because they offer a lot and you can actually share this with other people. So you can share your Canva subscription with six other people and they'll have their own accounts. So it is budget friendly and I do like the yearly plans. And let me show you guys some of the projects I've actually done. I just did this uh, yesterday. This is using Canva and all of these thumbnails are basically from Canva. Before I had Canva, my thumbnails were horrible. I oftentimes didn't have thumbnails just because I couldn't get a good still picture and the project was already done. So I couldn't go back to it. And they have a big library of pictures. So you can go ahead and use their premium content without paying anything extra. And so here's a really good example. I don't own this red Volvo, but I needed the red Volvo for a video I have about smogs. And they had a perfect still image. And this really allows my video to go ahead and stand out from other competitors. The same thing here for this oxygen sensor. This was from Canva. This was a still image. It had the beer and it had the chili. Same thing here. So Canva has a lot of still images in premium content. And now let me show you how easy it is to actually make a thumbnail. So go to create a thumbnail, choose your project, and they have a search bar in case you wanna go ahead and do something custom. You can go ahead and type in what it is up here. And if it doesn't find it, just click on this right here. And for this video, we're gonna stick with YouTube. And on the left-hand side, we have templates, we have elements. So if I need a dollar sign, I can go ahead and choose the dollar sign. And I also could put a filter in here. So if I only want the pro features, it will go ahead and allow me to use this. And a lot of the pro stuff are PMG files. So if you have a picture in the background, you can layer them. And the way you do that is just right click and you can set it as the foreground or the background with just one click. It gives you recommendations here and you get a lot of different images that you can choose from. You can go ahead and upload a custom photo. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a picture of my van here that I have for sale. Now I just need to go ahead and fit it into the screen. 
move it around and I can choose text. I really like this blue and red. Now I just created a thumbnail within a few seconds and all I need to do is hit share, download. You want to choose a PMG file and I went ahead and saved the image. So that's how easy it was. That's why I like Canva. So if you're into speed, check them out. And if I forgot to take a good still image and I wanted to use something from Canva, all I need to do is come into photos, type in camper van, and it's going to give me a nice buffet of pictures to choose from. Go ahead and get the picture to fill in the spot. I could add my text again. I can change the styles. I could add my custom logo. So this is pretty nice. If you don't want anybody using your content, including your thumbnails, this is a great place to do so. It's kind of like a watermark right in the corner. And we also have a more section down here. And let's see if they have a for sale thumbnail. There we go. Check that out, guys. Look how easy this is. I just created a thumbnail that I didn't have a picture. I got a very clean image and I have many, many variations I can choose from. And I absolutely love Canva. I do want to make this video short. So if you guys have any additional questions about upping your YouTube game, how to use TubeBuddy or vidIQ, I'm going to have all those links down below. I make sure to get back to all the comments and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much and make it a great day.